in ancient time people used to travel from one place to another on animals they used to be very tired continuously traveling on animals for days and nights for to reach their destination they used to often fall sick during their travel then came the age when fossil fuels were discovered at present we are living in that age this these fossil fuels have made life so easy that if we have to travel to foreign countries which are miles apart from us it takes only few hours for us to reach there now imagine will you be able to hand over these fossil fuels to your coming generation will you be able to make their life easier as well i don't think so they might not be able to experience all these quick transportation facilities why because we are using these natural resources unnecessarily and exploiting them by that time these natural resources like fossil fuels forests minerals everything will be completely used up by our human activities you know that coal petroleum and natural gas are the fuels obtained from fossils the dead remains got converted into these fuels after millions of years that means the formation took millions of years but when we start using these natural resources we destroy them quickly you burn them and they are destroyed the known reserves of these fossil fuels will last almost a few hundred years from now moreover the use of these fossil fuels is a major cause to air pollution that is directly linked to global warming that is the reason why we are facing shortage of rain increasing temperature and many other hazardous things thus it is important for us to reduce the use of these fossil fuels and use them only when it is absolutely necessary this will result in better environment smaller risk of global warming and we can make these natural resources available for a longer period of time okay have you heard about petroleum conservation research association that is the pcra well it is an organization that was established in india in the year 1978 it helps the government in proposing the strategies and policies which aims at reducing the dependency of india on oil this will reduce the amount of money we spend on these resources and we can save these resources at the same time pcra also advises people how to save petrol and diesel while driving their tips are drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible now if a car is driven at a constant and moderate speed the engine works efficiently but if the speed is continuously increased or decreased the fuel the engine efficiency becomes less and it starts using more and more fuel than usual the second one is switch off the engines at traffic lights or the places where you have to wait so that the fuel is not unnecessarily being used up by the engine The third one is ensure correct tire pressure. If the tire pressure is not correct, the friction between the road and the tire increases. Due to this, the engine requires more energy and uses more fuel than usual. And the last one is ensure a regular maintenance of your vehicle. Okay. Now, we do not have to follow only these rules. to save the natural resources but we can also make certain small rules for ourselves so that we can save these natural resources in our own small ways like turning off the gas in the kitchen when not required switching off the lights and fans when not in use and save electricity and there are many such ways with which we can save these limited natural resources why don't you list down some more ways